Hey everyone, I am back to do a review for a Uniwigs wig. So I'm really excited to bring this color to you specifically. Um, you know, I've already done one review for Uniwigs. It was the Carrie wig. And um, they asked if I'd be willing to do another one. And I said, of course, because I thought the Carrie wig was beautiful. And so they sent me Liz. Uh, and I did... Um, specifically asked them to send me one of two colors. So they picked the wig, but I had said that I really wanted to do a color that wasn't a specific blonde. And so they sent me Hazel Glaze. So this is Liz in Hazel Glaze. I cannot wait to talk about this color. But before I do, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about Uniwigs. This is from their Le Vivid line, and I know some of you are familiar with their Le Vivid line, but some of you aren't. And since Uniwigs is a company that's based in China, I think there's a little, sometimes we get a little nervous about are they legitimate? Uniwigs has been around for a little while. There's a lot, a lot of videos out there on Uniwigs wigs. Um, they have both a cosplay kind of line or section, and then they also have their little vivid section, which is more like the wigs that, you know, um, Aesthetica and John Renault and Gabor, like an everyday kind of wear for wigs. And so definitely legit. Um, when they send you the box, they send you two wig caps, which is not very common anymore, a dark one and a light one. I don't wear wig caps, but some women really like to get these. And they also send you a comb, uh, two combs. So you can always sew combs into the wigs if that helps you secure them, which I think is, you know, can be really helpful for some people. Again, you know, I don't do that. But then I really like that they send you this little brochure and it has all sorts of information in there. What do I do if I want to return or exchange? What are some top tips? How do I style? You know, there's just a lot of information in here. So I think that can be really helpful as well. And um, one thing to keep in mind, the wigs from Uniwigs come from overseas. They come from China, I believe. And so it can take... Uh, it can take a couple of weeks to get here, but I, I've i had wig sisters tell me they got wigs from Uniwigs within five days. So I think it just depends. Um, just keep that in mind. All right, so let's talk about Liz. Liz is a basic cap uh, wig, synthetic wig. Um, regular synthetic, she is not heat friendly. Let's just take a quick look at this really super cute cut. So to make sure we got some focus going on here. I want you to see that back. Because it's really cute. I think this is a super cute, fun style. I really do. And it's very, very low density. And it has just a little bit of permatease right here, which gives it that lift right there. There's a bump of permatease, but otherwise super low density, not tons of permatease. For a basic cap wig, I think that's really unusual. So I really like that. This color, Hazel Glaze, is so beautiful. Are we focused? I just want you guys to see this color. It is so dynamic and it's rooted. It's got just like this strawberry blonde and some light auburn and some gold flecks. I mean, just beautiful. I'll get outside for you guys. On a kind of a medium dark root, but not, not the contrast between the light and the dark isn't extreme. The rooting is very well done and it's not very long. And one of the things I think the rooting does so well on this piece is it hides the permatease. So while there isn't poofy, poofy permatease up here, there is permatease. There has to be because it's a basic cap, so there's no mono feature to hide where the hair is sewn into the cap. So I'll show you guys the permatease. You know, I would say it is visible, but not really. If you get really close up to it, you can kind of see the crimpy fibers there. 
but because you've got light and dark, it's really, really well disguised. I do not have any concern about people seeing this permatease. I really don't. Even somebody standing up here, they're not going to notice that. I just look like I've got dark roots. It's really well done. Um, you know, and there's no uh, lace up here, so it's a basic cap, but it lays really, really well so that you can't tell that there's, you know, there's a wig there. Um, you, if you had bio hair that could blend, you could pull some hair out there and then you'd have even more realism, but I'm not concerned about that at all. When I got Liz, she had quite a bit of box hair and I do show the out of the box, but I just sprayed her with a little water and I shook her out and I hung her upside down. Um, in order to get this style to work for me and look like this, I did use some product and I will tell you that I almost always use product in short wigs. I just don't find that they work great without a little product. So what I did is I used this John Renault Peace Out Cream. It comes in a black tub now. This is a very old one and it's going strong. <laughs> it lasts forever. Um, and I just put some here and I put a, ooh, I just pulled my earring out of my ear, put some here. There is like a little winger right there that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. It just wants to kind of, and then I, you know, and then I put some in here and I did this and then I took a little bit of dry shampoo, uh, the tip I got from my wig sister, Valerie from loving wigs with Valerie. And I just put a little dry shampoo in underneath here to give it a little bit of lift, not for shine. I don't think this is shiny. I'm fine with this healthy, healthy sheen, but I wanted to give a little lift. I think I would probably want to just take a little steam to her, like right in here and here. I just think she needs a little more lift on the top. And that's partly because she really doesn't have a lot of permatease. So I really can't. Back here, I can probably get some lift, but I really can't get much lift out of this style. She just doesn't have enough permatease at all to do that. And I would like a little more lift. Let me just take this other earring out so I don't look lopsided. I just love these layers. Honestly, I just think it's the cutest, cutest little cut. And I love this. There's just a little bit of a stack there. And then the way they contrasted those colors in the back. I love that. I think it looks so cute. Let me grab my mirror. I just think that looks adorable. I really do. All right, let's talk about the cap and the fit. So it's a basic cap and the coverage is just typical on me. You can see my bio hair. This is really just standard coverage, I would say. Um, the cap fits really well. The ear tabs go down, pretty standard for a lot. I do have a little bit of extra cap up here, just like a lot of wigs. So that is, it's not huge on my head. Um, I will say though that it is big around my circumference and I'm 22 inches. I do need to cinch this one in and I haven't yet. And it does have the, the kind that I really dislike, the pull. And so my fear is I'll cinch it and it won't stay. That's just what happens with these kind of adjusters. I don't like them. Um, but so if you are an average large, I think this cap's going to fit you. I really do. Um, it fits me with room to grow. And I'm average 22 inches. I'm just very petite over the top of my head. She has an extended nape. It doesn't have any of the soft um like velvet it's just the lace she does have the bendable ear tabs and there's quite a bit of hair sewn into those ear tabs to disguise them and then it's just the the basic front and then you know wefted just a real basic basic cap no real bells and whistles at all in this cap um such a lightweight wig it's just amazing to me how lightweight this is on the tag, it says the color is Hazel Glaze 11R. So the color, maybe there's an 11 in it. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm not super familiar with um, Uniwig's color codes. But yeah, I just think it's so comfortable and so lightweight. Uh, perfect. I mean, it's. I think it would be really comfortable on a hot day. It's going to be the perfect length for wearing with turtlenecks and scarves. If you like shorter styles, oh my gosh, I just, and the fibers feel so great. They're very light and wispy. 
very wispy, very, very realistic looking. I just think there's not a lot of poof. The fibers feel great. They're the finer denier kind, which is a lot more realistic looking than some of those. Like Noriko fibers are beautiful and they last forever, but they're not, um, they're very thick and substantial. These kind are really mimic human hair. In my opinion, they feel like and mimic human hair. So honestly, I've got nothing negative to say about this wig whatsoever. I think it's adorable. I think the cap is super comfortable. The fit is great. I think it's going to really fit well from a, you know, uh, average all the way up to an average large, average petite. Look at my measurements. Uh, if you're similar to me over the top, then you're going to be fine with this. The cap, you know, you're going to need to cinch it in. But other than that, I don't even know what else to tell you guys. I'm really pleased with this wig. Really pleased. She's really, really adorable. So Liz by Uniwigs. Stick around for the out of the box and an outside look at this beautiful, beautiful color. Hey guys, here's the outside look at Hazel Glaze. It's really bright. We're going to be dealing with this all winter, I think. Such a pretty color. Let's see if I can get it to show up well, depending on the background. And the rooting is great. Really good. Hopefully that's showing it to you. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the frame. It's hard when you're holding this out. Okay, let's walk over to some sun. So, so pretty. I love this color. It's a little blonder than your typical kind of hazelnut color. Try to get the gray background behind me here. So bright. I hope this was a good look for you guys. Let's wrap it up over here back in the shade. A little bit more diffuse light. There you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one. Hey guys, here's the out of the box for Liz. She definitely has box hair. I think it's a cute cut though. So I'm gonna, um, I don't know if I'm going to soak her or spray her. I haven't decided yet. Um, she's very low hair density, so spraying her might just be plenty. Such a cute cut. I can't wait to see what happens with her when I get her, get her sort of awake and, and get rid of some of this box hair. What I'll tell you is I think she's going to need some product, but you've already seen what I've done, so... This is just me trying to figure it out initially out of the box. So you can see, I mean, she's definitely not, in my opinion, ready to wear, but she's not far from it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.